Ciao. What's poppin' pumpkin heads? It's your boy Sweet Lou back again at the library garden. Today's harvesting day for Dr. Beverly Crusher on the pumpkin plant uh, Riker. Um, so I've got my sharp knife out today. I brought it out. I'm gonna cut it right here at the top of the stem. This is not the healthiest pumpkin I've ever seen in the world. It's a little soft, but I don't think it's gonna get any better. Things are pretty much all dead and 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 crispy over here uh, on Riker. So I think, especially since the I'm seeing the yellowing on this stump, there might have been some bacteria or something got in there. So I might uh, it might benefit from being cut now, and we'll see how long it'll last if it's kept in a cool and dry place. Especially because we're in the middle of this heat wave, um, uh, it might uh, uh, it might really cook out here and get some bacteria in there. So I'll cut this real quick, and then we'll check in on. Oh, quick note: um, our watering yesterday sort of did the trick. They snapped back to life when I came to water again this morning. Um, so our other pumpkins are doing are doing great. We'll get more on that in just a sec. But here, let me um. Let me cut this. I'll put this in my mouth. We'll see if it works. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that the weight is there. There's definitely lots of water. I'd say five to eight pounds uh, from what I'm hefting. There's definitely damage at the top of the stock. That is bad, bad news. That means it's going to rot inside. So I'm going to take this home and Purell it all up. See if you can stop it from getting worse. But uh, yeah, it's a little soggy. Let's see if us taking it off and drying it out might give us a chance to survive until Halloween. Um, yeah, it's wet. Let's do a little knock test, actually. See what it sounds like. Yeah, sounds a little squish. Sounds like there's definitely some uh, some rot in there. So I don't have high hopes of this lasting more than a couple weeks. We'll set this aside, get a glamour shot. Ah, Dr. Beverly Crusher, first library pumpkin I've been responsible for. This was hand pollinated by me. Okay, let's take a look at the rest. Um, I think the star of the show is She-Hulk. Just blue, look at how much action she's getting. Big, thick stump uh, at the top that's very much like um, what I was getting with um, my pumpkins back home with um, Clarice and Ellen Ripley. Looking very good. Happy little bugs hanging out there. Yeah, this one's gonna get slurped back in. That's not gonna be a pumpkin because I think this is taking all of the nutrients. And then the other exciting ones are these two. This one's starting to yellow. I'm not sure what that, if that's gonna get slurped and done in the favor for this. I've never seen both on one vine like this before. Um, and then over here, oh yeah, I think we called this one Vampira. All right, now it's got these beetles, which seem a little bit more pernicious than the black ones. These guys spread like locusts. Um, I think they might be eating some stuff, but this one's already starting the good natural color change of an older pumpkin. It's starting to firm up. That one might be ready to, um, um, to pluck in uh, about two weeks, I'd say. All right, so we're making progress. We'll probably be out here watering for at least another month. Um, thanks for checking in. See you later, pumpkin heads.